Dude, come on, why do you keep doing that to my napkin? Hello, Disney Cruisers. I'm Ashley. Nice to see you. If you know nothing about me, let me tell you one major thing is that I love Disney cruising. I go on Disney cruises all the time. I'm pretty sure I'm the person that is obsessed the most with Disney cruising. In all of my fabulous sailings, I learn lots and lots of information and I bring it here to you on YouTube so you can be a great Disney cruiser and have the best vacation you possibly could have. On my recent sailing with my sister, who was a complete newbie to Disney cruising, I was telling her a piece of information and she said, oh, that should be a video. And I thought, you know what? It should be a video because this is something I've only ever seen on Disney Cruising. It could be some universal thing that everyone does, but I have only seen it on Disney Cruise Line. So I wanted to enlighten you. When you go to one of the fabulous lounges on Disney Cruise Line, almost immediately after you sit down, you will be greeted by the wait staff and they will ask you very kindly if you would like anything to drink. As they're asking you if you want something to drink, they are laying down a napkin. The most beautiful napkin you will ever see because it has the Disney logo on it. It is stunning. <laughs> it's like, it's the fanciest napkin ever. <laughs> and probably one of the most expensive napkins you will ever use. But nonetheless, they are putting down the lovely napkin on your table, one per person. They'll ask you what you would like to drink. If you are ordering something, they simply take your order, go make your drink, come back and place it on the napkin. If you do not want something to drink at that time and you say no thank you or I'm not sure yet, after they have put your napkin down and asked you, they will then flip your napkin upside down. Then you can no longer see the logo. It's just a white napkin, the most boring napkin in the world. The reason they flip over that napkin is to remind them and the other wait staff that you have been asked if you wanted a drink and at this time you don't want one. Some of the lounges do not get that busy or don't get that busy that quickly. But if you're in the main adult lounge where they do a lot of the game shows, there are times when that lounge gets completely full and the wait staff is just running nonstop from person to person and filling orders. So if you had come in and said, not right now, no thank you, I don't, I don't want anything to drink, and they flipped your napkin over, they're not gonna come check on you and you're not on their highest priority. And it's not that they don't want to just check to see how you are, they're super busy. They're not gonna know that you need something unless you flip your napkin back over. When you turn your napkin back over and they can see that logo and that you don't have a glass sitting on that logo, then they're gonna come and ask you if you would like something to drink. This will also happen at the bars or anywhere else someone will come up to you and ask if you want a drink. However, it does not occur up on the pool deck or at Castaway because your napkin will just flow around. And let's be honest, who says no to a drink on Castaway or up on the pool deck? So I hope this bit of information helps you so you don't sit there dying of thirst wondering why in the world you're being left out and no waiter or waitress has come over to ask you if you wanted anything else to drink again. Check out some of the other videos popping up right next to me. I will catch you in the next video and I'm so glad that you clicked on this one. Have fun planning your cruise. Toodaloo cruisers!